What's going on viewers and anime fans and welcome to Steel Curtain Gaming. Today we are coming to talk about Parasite the Maximum, Episode 22, Quintessence and Awakening. Basically, I gotta say, this episode was pretty powerful and moving. But yeah, let's get talking to what it was all about. As you guys remember, in the past two episodes, we basically have been having this huge build up between Goto and Sinichi. Obviously, it does start off like that in this episode, or at least the first five minutes or so. Obviously, Sinichi and Miji try to team up against Goto. Their plan actually fails, and what happens is Miji ends up dying. I use air quotes because dying is still perspective. Miji's cells are still in Sinichi's body, and later on in the episode, he does come into contact with Miji and his own psyche, and he sees his eye inside of the stub of his arm, so that still says that Miji is still alive somewhere, but really we don't know. Obviously, the build-up is the main focus. There was a side focus note with the older lady actually helping out Sinichi and helping his character grow as a whole after the battle, or the mini fight. There wasn't too much that happened or took place, but we did see some character growth with Sinichi as a whole. Obviously, the animation once again was amazing. The fight itself, just as you guys saw with the head being ripped off, was just freaking sick. I really enjoyed it. And I gotta say, I'm really excited for next week's episode. Obviously, this week's episode wasn't as good as last week's, but it was still really good. So if you guys haven't watched it, you guys can catch it on Crunchyroll right now. Go ahead, go watch it. Then come back, leave your doubts below down in the comment section, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, guys.